Hello, my fellow elder millennial. What do I love to do but share things that have actually helped me, made my life easier? Without further ado, my fellow weirdo, maybe you're not weird like I am, but you're here watching this, so you're weird by proxy. Welcome, let's get into it. Number one, if you own a pair of Ugg boots, which if you are an elder millennial, you probably do, or you have a teenager who does. We're at that age now where this is like something that was in fashion for us, and now it's in fashion for our kids. It's so weird. They get dirty real fast. We all know this, okay? So I have this like miracle cleaner to clean up your Ugg boots or slippers, as well as these pads that are sort of like magic erasers that can help you clean up like your sneakers. We're getting into the season where we're gonna be busting out all of our Adidas. I guess those are back now. That was in when I was in high school, but they're back now. And when I tell you that these things will clean the fool out of your shoes, they will clean the fool out of your shoes. And then once you get your Uggs looking all brand new and pretty again, you can use this boot spray that basically puts like a protective layer on them so that they become more durable, more like waterproof. It will be easier to keep clean and to clean again in the future. The second thing though that I love is this little round cleaner sponge for tennis shoes. I discovered a off-label, if you will, use for this item. So if you are like me, I have a ton of white button-up shirts or at least a few variations of my favorite just classic white button-up shirt. But sometimes with dress shirts, you know, you want to wear them a couple times before you wash them, especially if they're like real crisp and almost like starched and iron and all that kind of stuff. But we sometimes get makeup on the collar, right? On a whim thought, you know what? If this little scrubber will get everything off of my sneakers, maybe this will work on my white collared shirts too. I have a little corner in my closet where I put things that um, really need to go to the dry cleaners, but I just have not had time to take them and don't take them. I'm real bad about dry cleaning stuff. And so I pulled these things out of that corner and I tested this little cleaner, um, this little cleaning tool to get the makeup stains off of my white collar shirts and it worked amazingly well. So it buys you more time between dry cleaning and helps you prevent stains from getting into your shirts. And y'all, some of these shirts have been in my closet in this condition for an embarrassingly long amount of time. So it's not like these are fresh makeup stains. Some of these makeup stains are very old. I told you, the shirts need to go to the dry cleaner. They haven't made it yet. So this product is something that can be used in multiple ways worth every penny, as well as the boot wipes and the spray to protect your shoes after. I wonder if I could spray that on my shirt and protect my shirt. I'm not gonna test that. Number two is a trick and hack that I have discovered to make your perfume last longer. One thing I can't stand is when I put on a perfume and then a few hours later, it's just gone. I'm not trying to like smell like I work at a brothel or something. I don't want it to be like that strong all the time, but I want it to be where if you come close to me, if you hug me, like that's the trick, right? People should be able to smell your perfume when they get close to you, not from like a distance. I have a trick for you. And this is like a Southern gal trick, all right? One of these days we're gonna do a whole video of Southern gal like tips and tricks. It's to use a little bit of Vaseline before you put your perfume on in the spots that you're going to put it. So like on your wrist, maybe behind your ears. Sometimes I put a little here or on the back of my neck. Sometimes I put a little bit just right down there in the, the cleavage area, you know, put a little Vaseline there before you put your perfume there. And it's going to help that seep into your skin and stay and stick around. And speaking of perfumes, my next little hack and tip for you is to stop overpaying for perfume. Perfume can get outrageous in price. And if you have never checked out fragrance.com before, you absolutely need to, okay? They're sponsoring today's video. I am sharing them with you because I genuinely am like blown away by the prices and the things that I was able to find. I have a discount code for you too. I'm gonna put that down below in the description box. It's just Angela, and that's gonna get you 35% off your order. Just a couple of recommendations. The Flora perfumes from Gucci are some of my favorites. I love them. I love to mix them and they are very pricey. I will be honest with you. And I typically go for like the spread, the little like travel sprays or roller bottles to be able to have a few different ones without spending a fortune. However, I found this one on fragrance.com and I've never seen this one before. It's um, Gucci memoir, I believe. And I was very pleasantly surprised. It sounds like attack of the birds outside of my office right now. I am not kidding you. Look at how beautiful this bottle is. It is like, has like all the vintage vibes and feels that I absolutely love. This just smells so fresh and springy, not too sweet. It's got a little musk in there. 
Another one that I decided to get a tiny, tiny bottle of to try, at least with Gucci, I have a basis for the fact that I like most of their perfumes, but this is called Coach Dreams Sunset. Listen, if you love a good summery scent, something that makes you think of summer vacation vibes, you are going to love this perfume. I wish I just got it on the tip of my nose. Now I'm going to smell it for the rest of the day. That's fine by me. I wish I would have gotten a bigger bottle of this because holy cow, this just smells amazing, summery, warm, um, but sweet. One more to share with you is by a brand called Arlen. They have a few different perfumes that I wanted to try. I decided to go with this one first because it felt like a safe option. I'm a big mixer of perfumes. I love to mix my perfumes. This is Amber Floral and Woody Breeze, and it's definitely not super sweet. It is very like woody with a touch of that floral scent to it. To me, this would be really good for fall, winter, as well as maybe mixing with something a little bit, like a little bit sweeter. You get a ton of it for the price. It's a very good deal as far as like amount for the price. So do not sleep on fragrance.com if you have not checked them out. They have like every perfume you could probably possibly imagine. Definitely check them out and don't forget to use my discount code Angela to get you 35% off your order. All right, my next little hack and trick is that if you love to layer necklaces, I have done this for years and years. Back when I used to be an ambassador for Noonday, I've always loved the like layered necklace look, especially with daintier necklaces. And I love to do like a shorter one, one that hits like right between the collarbones right here, and then like a slightly longer one. However, you know that they get all like twisted and tangled up. To fix that, I found this very affordable, just easy little necklace clip basically that allows you to clip multiple necklaces onto it. You can get different sizes, ones that hold two or three or I think even four necklaces, and it basically holds them in place so that they don't get all tangled up and roll around. They stay where you want them to. It's just like such an easy, simple hack for something that a lot of people layer necklaces. I see other people do it all the time, but they are so prone to tangling. So it's just like a simple, easy fix for a problem that most of us have if we like to layer necklaces, right? Yes. Okay, my next tip, just hear me out because you're like, is this really a tip? It is though, okay? Is to buy this package of earring backs from Amazon. You get, I think there's like 400 in here or something ridiculous like that, okay? There's a ton of them. However, they are the like super tight silicone, got like almost like a, um, like a threading on them to make them really grip and stay. So you know the like, bow shaped earring backs that sometimes they get like loose and then they start to slide around and then your earrings hang they don't stay where you want them to or you lose an earring back and then you're having to like rob peter to pay paul and steal an earring back from another earring and you never return it and you're just always without an earring back somewhere this is something that I kind of questioned, like, is this necessary? But I had so many earrings that were missing backs that I thought, I'm just going to order this. And now I don't use the backs that come with almost 90% of my earrings. They hold, they stay in place, they don't fall off. It's like a simple solution for a problem that's not like an earth shattering problem. But when it is, it's very annoying, you know? Next, we have a solution, okay? If you two have like a headboard where you have space between your mattress and your headboard and your pillows start to like fall and go in there, or maybe you set your phone up there while you're listening to something or falling asleep and your phone falls back there. Well, I found this amazing long, you can get it in a queen or king size, just like triangle wedge shape pillow that fills in that space. So not only when you make your bed, do your pillows stand up better? They don't slip and fall into that crack. The other part that I think is just, you know, a little added kiss of genius is that they put little pockets on each of the ends. Sometimes I'll turn on like white noise or brown noise or pink noise. And so I can just set my phone into that little pocket and it's not like in the bed with me. It's not like up by my head or floating around somewhere. It's just nicely tucked into the little pocket on the wedge pillow. Again, are any of these things necessities in your life? No, but they are little things that just make life a little bit easier and smoother. And that's the kind of things I like to share with you. Speaking of making your life easier, these drawer dividers have arguably changed my life. Okay, maybe they've not changed my life, but they've definitely helped me to stay more organized with my clothing. I am the kind of person that needs to be able to see what I have. I love the method of folding and having everything like where I can see it. And these drawer dividers 
are so awesome. They're so grippy. They actually like work and stay and they allow me to make more of the space that I have in my drawer. They're great for like, if you have like a t-shirt drawer to be able to see them um, and see everything that you have, especially if you use the Marie Kondo folding method and like basically that's what she teaches. So these drawer um, dividers are awesome for that. And speaking of other things that help you like stay organized and see what you have without it being a mess everywhere is this tank top hanger. It basically allows you to hang up your tank tops just like where everything is just lined up and you can see it all. It just comes down to the simple fact for me that the way my brain works, if I don't see them, then I forget that I have them. Organization things like this are very helpful for me. So if you are like that, if you need to be able to kind of see what you have in order to wear it. Next, do you have children whose hair turns into like some kind of dreadlock literally overnight? I do. I purchased this product like a year ago. It's the seven second detangler. You've probably seen people talk about it, but just in case you needed someone else to reaffirm for you that this product does actually work and it's pretty amazing, that's what I'm basically telling you. If you've never heard of it before, it's amazing. You spray it in said child or yourself if you have really tangly hair. You spray it in their hair, you leave it for seven seconds, and then you come back and brush. It's kind of a miracle worker, and I have a child, like I said, who almost instantaneously just looks like birds have made a nest in her hair. It's just the texture of her hair. I made the mistake the first time I got it. I was thinking, I don't know why everybody's so impressed with this because it's kind of thick. So you kind of have to shake it up. And then I thought, okay, I'll just water it down because it's not the cheapest detangler. Let me also step back and be very clear about that. This is not like the $2 Suave detangler from Target. This is, it's like 30 something dollars. So of course, me being me, I was like, I'm going to make this go farther. I'm going to water this down. So I poured it into one of my like misting bottles from Amazon, added water to it and watered it down. And it still works, but not nearly as well. So I will give you that little caveat that you're welcome to water it down, but I will tell you that you won't be as impressed with its power if you don't use it at its full strength. Okay, I just wanna say that. Did anybody else try to burn their eyelashes off with a lighter? No? Okay, well, my sister and I, when we were in like the eighth grade, I guess we thought we were geniuses and we were going to heat up our eyelash curlers. I don't know where we got this idea, y'all, but we would take lighters and warm our metal eyelash curlers with a lighter before we would, you know, use them to curl our eyelashes. Because if you like warm it up, it curls your eyelashes better, right? Makes sense. You use a hot curling iron to curl your hair. Your eyelashes are hair technically. I got out of that practice many years ago when I have burned myself one too many times. And I'll be honest, I get kind of lazy with using an eyelash curler anyways. It's not something that like I typically am like all that stressed or worried about. However, I saw this product and I thought, well, for the sake of science, I should test this so that I can tell my internet friends if this is worth their money or not. And I'm a little surprised that my answer is that I quite like it. I definitely think it's worth the price. It's not expensive and you charge it and then turn it on and the little strip like turns white when it's ready to use. And so it is a heated eyelash curler and it allows you to curl your eyelashes. And if you use a heated curler, I feel like it holds the curl better and it stays. Also just another little side tip, put, I like to put on a very thin layer of mascara uh, then use the heated curler, then go back in with the second layer, if you will, of mascara. That's what I find actually like holds and stays. That's my method. But I have to tell you that the heated eyelash curler is a hack thing that I think actually does work. And it's far better than using real fire and warming up a metal eyelash curler. We are getting creepily close to like Victorian era torture tactics that I just think need to be avoided altogether. Now I wanna talk about a mop, okay? I know you thought like this was gonna be all fun stuff. I personally think mops are fun. Maybe you don't. I saw this mop, people were talking about it all over the place. I kept seeing it on Instagram and stuff. This O Cedar mop with like the ring bucket and stuff. And I thought, why is everybody going back to like a bucket and a mop? We have these great steam mops and stuff. Why is everybody going back to this? Well, I can tell you why. Because I have been professing my love for my steam mop for quite some time. However, the one thing that drove me nuts about it 
I feel like it takes a long time to mop because you're kind of at the mercy of the speed of this thing and letting it like actually like really heat up and do its job. So I decided that, well, I really want to be able to like fast mop my house like Cinderella style, right? This O Cedar mop and bucket is not expensive, uh, especially compared to other items like it. You can use no cleaner with it. The microfiber in the cleaning heads does the job without you having to use any cleaners. I get my floors cleaner faster because I can really get in there and use my elbow grease that you can't always do with a steam mop that's like rotating heads. And again, you can't like really get in there and like dig and press with that. Whereas with this mop, I can really fly and mop the house very, very quickly. I gotta say, I'm officially a fan of the O-Cedar mop. Having a little foot pedal thing that you can push that like rings it out for you. I just ordered a pack of the heavy duty ones to see if that if that does like an even better job. I wanted to try like the heavy duty mop heads for it. So I'm pretty impressed with it. You know, who knew that these were like the exciting things of our lives, like cleaning stains out of our shirts and mopping our floors. But truthfully, Anytime anybody can make jobs like that easier for me, I get excited by the product and the thing because it's awesome. Okay, I shouldn't have saved this one for last because it really is one of my favorite things that I think is amazing. If you have the Dyson, the air wrap, the thing that comes with all the different heads on it. I have one. I've had one for a few years. I buy it in the Sephora. I bought it in the Sephora sale. I like it. You don't see me talk about it a bunch because one, it's pretty expensive and two, the, my struggle with it is that like the round brush that I want to use for drying is pretty small. So if the longer your hair is, the harder that is to use and actually get like a blowout and a lot of volume at the top. Like I like, you guys know, I like jack my hair up to Jesus. So I want a bigger round brush. Wow. I stumbled upon attachments for your Dyson and I bought two of them. I bought the large round brush attachment and I also bought the diffuser attachment because my thinking here is that if I had those attachments that worked really well, this truly could be a one and done product that I can curl my hair with. Um, a lot of people don't like it for the curling purpose. This is not meant to be a review of the Dyson, but I will say that um, I like it for curling I use the curling wand, the air wrap to curl, and I pull the curls up and pin them and let them cool pinned while I do my makeup or whatever, and then it stays. If I don't do that, the hairstyle falls out. So I understand people's frustration with the air wrap. You really have to like figure out your hair and how it works. This is not meant to be a review of the Dyson. I'm just saying that I really wanted to try these attachments because I thought, okay, I finally figured out how to use it for curling my hair and have the curls actually stay. Now, how can I be able to actually use it for the drying of my hair, the drying attachment that comes with it? I don't love it as much. I want the big round brush. This is not Dyson brand, okay? Both of these items, the diffuser for curls as well as the round brush are an off brand. They fit the Dyson. They work. Okay, I have a question. If you've made it to the end of this video, I want to ask you because I was just talking to my friend Catherine the other day and I was telling her about a couple of things like lady to lady, friend to friend, woman to woman, some favorites. And I thought, I want to share this stuff because it's helpful for women, but it deals with like things that have to do with personal areas, private areas, uh, your romantic life. And I feel like it's kind of weird to share that stuff on the internet. So I had an idea and you tell me what you think. I don't have enough of these things that I would do it every week, but I was thinking that once a month I could do like unmentionable Mondays. I can share with you some of my favorite unmentionable products, things that feel as though as a proper lady, I shouldn't necessarily talk about them on the internet, but also like as your internet friend, your girlfriend, I want to tell you about them because they're awesome and helpful and practical and useful as well just because they deal with our private parts. I feel like we have to we have to have an outlet. We have to be able to share this stuff with our friends, okay? And you guys are my friends. And that's the whole point is I like to share stuff that's practical. So let me know if you are interested. I will put a sign up down below and you can sign up to get my unmentionable Monday emails. I'll do them once a month. So you're not gonna get bombarded with a bunch of this stuff. But once a month, like I would do a favorites video, I will also send out an unmentionables email that I will probably do in video form. Like you're gonna get a video in an email, okay? So you can watch it. I can like explain the items to you and stuff like I normally would, but we would do it through email rather than like on my 
YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube like got angry at me when I did my weirdo gift guide and I didn't even show anything. I just like casually mentioned it. So I feel like YouTube is very touchy about that stuff and I don't need to get on their bad side right now. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I realize I'm asking for your opinion while giving you very little context, but you're just going to have to like trust me. Okay. That some of it's really good stuff, but it's kind of weird to share here. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. I will see you again very soon.